Welcome to Cloudsco block. Here we will see how to install Mapper Hadoop onto the Linux operating system. So first step will be the configuring Linux operating system with some prerequisites for Hadoop installation. So in this blog on the website www.cloudsco.net you will find below information which contains how to set up a Linux operating system for configuring any Hadoop on it. So once you follow this step, you can install any type of Hadoop for your Linux operating system. This, tut this tutorial specifically covers CentOS Linux operating system. There are some instructions which are different for different operating system like Ubuntu, etc. So first step is finding the IP address of newly added Linux operating system machine this machine could be vm machine or aws machine or google cloud machine so first is we will make fully qualified domain name available across all the machines on which we are going to install hadoop so for this first machine we will call it as machine1.cs.com Similarly, we will make this change on another machine also. So here I named it as machine1.cloudscope.net. So here I am actually setting the host name of my Linux operating system. Second step is to make entry to the host file. So we are going to edit etc slash host file. Here we will add all the IP addresses of all Linux machine available into the cluster. So here I added IP address of first machine on which I am going to install Hadoop. As well as another machine on which I am going to install Hadoop. So I have two machines, machine1.cloudscope.net and machine2.cloudscope.net. Once I make system for FQDN compatible, the next step is to set up different parameters. Here I can also give short name to all the machines. Machine 1 and machine 2 will be the short name for both machines. So that I can communicate using short name also. So I have to make it permanent using hostname command. So for this CentOS 6.8, you can use hostname command for making it permanent. Next step is to configure the SLinux. For Hadoop, it is required that SLinux should be disabled. So you can open the etc SLinux config file and make changes as SLinux equals to disabled. You can make it permanent permanent for session using set infos hyphen zero. The next step is to disable the IP tables. So there are IP tables and IP6 tables available onto the Linux operating system. So you have to disable it using different commands like service IP table stop and chk config IP tables off. After disabling the IP tables. It's time to configure machine for NTP. So NTP you can install using yum install command. NTP helps to keep all the machines into the cluster in sync with each other. So that we can avoid the time square. Let's start NTP service. Once we start NTP service, you have to make changes to the 
etc mtp.conf file and you can add the machines which are going to be the pool for your ntp server you can add your own machine if you have any ntp server configured for your environment right now we are going to keep it as same as it is using ntpq command you can initialize your ntp demo to pick the current correct time So there are different uh, softwares required which which might be necessary uh, for your different operations like python or etc so we are going to install those softwares onto linux os So next step comes is to enable passwordless SSH or SSH for all your machines in the cluster. So you can enable passwordless SSH using following commands where you have to create keys on one machine and after giving appropriate permission you can, you can transfer authorized keys file to another machine. So you can see over here we have created keys and now we are given permission to all the files in the under the machine. So this warning is fine as we have not created that file yet. Next step is to use ssh copy id command which will copy public keys to another machine on which we have to create passwordless ssh so here ssh copy hyphen id space root at machine 2 so here you can enter the roots password of the second machine and once you enter the password now you can Log into machine 2 without using any password. So, these steps you have to modify for different user if you install, if you want to install Adobe by. CentOS user or admin user or any user. So here we will create one map origin by which we will make passwordless search. So these are some settings which are required uh, we will call it as a kernel tv uh, of operating system they are required uh, for in future for Hadoop installation so there are some softwares which are required epl repositories so we can enable epl repositories using following commands So all those changes which we are making on this machine, we have to make sure that we are doing it on all the machines in the cluster. So 
so once you made all those changes onto the all machines you can proceed for the next step which is creating the users for particular node installation so here we are installing for example mapr so we will create one user for mapr with gid 5000 so here group and user mapr is created as you can see on the screen So this user need to be created on both the machines in case of that. So if you have added disk into the operating system, you can add this disk into operating system for further operations. If disk have an L command shows the all connected disk into the operating system for operating system onto the screen. So here you can see we have disk available as dev sdp slash dev slash sdp which will be used to install mapper hub. So first step is to format it using ext4. So as you can see on the screen we have used command mkfs.ext4 slash dev slash sdp. So it will take some time. So we are adding this uh, disk onto both machines for machine one and for machine two also. So let's set password for newly added user mapper user on both the machines. As you can see, we have updated password for Mapper on both the machines. Now let's try logging using Mapper user. And we create passwordless SSH for Mapper user. So this passwordless SSH is created using SSH keygen command. Then we will give permissions to all the files into the SSH folder. You can follow this block for all the installation purposes, troubleshooting, configuration and other steps. Thank you. 
So right now we are having passwordless SSH for Mapper user on both the machines. In the next video we will see how to set up Mapper.